You're just going to sit there while I film? Okay. Hey guys, it's Jenna, what is up, and welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a pretty fun video. I love watching these, I love filming these. It is a favorites video, pretty simple, but I have a bunch of different things to show you guys today, so I'm super pumped, and yeah, we're just gonna get right into it. Speaking of favorites, I do have a new camera here, if you guys can't tell. Not really sure how it's going to work out, this is my first time using it. It is a Canon ADD, so it was pretty expensive, but I have gotten a lot of new subscribers and I really want to start upping my quality for you guys. So all of the money that I made in May, I actually put towards this camera. All the money that I made from YouTube. Let me just correct that. So anyways, I'm gonna stop yapping and let's get into the rest of the favorites. Okay, so the first category we are going to go through is makeup. And the first thing, I only have three products, but the first thing is actually something that I rediscovered this month. May was a huge month of just going through all of my crap and decluttering and just rediscovering things that I haven't used in a while and getting rid of things that I just haven't used in like a while while. But the first thing is actually a MAC lipstick. I have a bunch of MAC lipsticks over there, and there's some that I don't use, some that I do. I got rid of a few of them, like crazy bright colors, because I've discovered that I do not like bright colors. But this one is actually one that I used to love, and it's very similar to a lipstick that I have talked about before. It's Myth, but this one is a little bit darker and a little bit more peachy, and not as, like, foundation lips kind of look. So this is Blankety. It is an amplified um, MAC lipstick. It's absolutely gorgeous. Like I said, it's just a very peachy nude color. Really, really pretty for the summer. And like I said, it's actually the one that I'm wearing on my lips. Also, if you guys see me looking over there, the monitor for my camera, this new camera, is actually there instead of like up above, which my other camera was up above. So really, really sorry. I will get used to it. But yes, yeah, so MAC Blankety, if you want like a really pretty lighter peach kind of summery color, this one is your girl. Okay, the next product is another product that I kind of rediscovered while going through all of my crap. I used to love this and I have been using it recently. It is a foundation and this is the YSL Le Tante Ecre de Peau. That French though. Um, that's the foundation. This is what it looks like. Really, really pretty packaging. This is a little bit more of an expensive foundation, but it is really, really nice. It's like a lightweight foundation. This is the applicator here. It's a little bit weird. You kind of have to just like dot it on your face. Um, but I really, really like this foundation. Like I said, it's a great foundation if you're looking for a lightweight not totally full coverage foundation for summer. I think this is great. It does a really good job of not really emphasizing the texture of my skin. I have like, I don't know what it's called. It's not rosacea, but like I get bumps on my cheeks here as well as on my nose. And I think that some foundations kind of emphasize that texture on my skin. And this one actually makes my skin look really, really soft and smooth, and it does um, even out your skin tone. It doesn't necessarily cover up um, like big red marks on your face, pimples, that kind of thing, but I definitely recommend it for summer and just light coverage right here. And then lastly for makeup products, this is a mascara, and if you have not seen my videos before, I am a huge fan of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. I've repurchased that over and over again, and I love it so how much, but this one I actually decided to try instead of my go-to, and this is the Benefit Roller Lash, and I was very, very happy with this mascara. It has a pretty standard kind of curved mascara wand, and I really, really like it. It's what I have on my lashes today. Also, I do have that YSL foundation on as well. Um, but I've been really liking this, and it might, you know, be on the same level as my Better Than Sex. Not really sure, but definitely check out this one. It makes your lashes very curly and thin, which I really, really like. I don't like huge, thick spider lashes. I'm not a huge fan of that, so if you are the same as me, definitely go for that mascara. But that is everything for makeup. 
Okay, so moving on to other beauty products. This is something that I've had for a bit, but I never really used it for the purpose that I've been using it recently. But this is just like a little, I don't know what these are called. They're little combs. I got this from Sephora. Oh, it's called a Tangle Teaser. But I got this from Sephora and it's a really nice handheld brush. And this is actually really nice for brushing your hair after you get out of the shower um, to get rid of tangles, obviously. But what I've actually been using this for has been kind of like getting all these like little hairs up here in, in check. So what I basically do is I spray a tiny bit of either just like a water or a hairspray onto the brush and then I kind of just brush out my little frizzies up here. And this brush is really good at like just taming them and making your hair look nice and sleek. So I've been using that and I've been loving it. And then the other beauty product is just a fragrance. This I actually purchased a month or two ago from Sephora um, during the Sephora VIB sale. And this was a great purchase. If you are looking for just a clean, really pretty summer scent. I've been talking about a lot of summer stuff. I'm sorry, I'm really excited. But this is a great summer scent. This is definitely going to be mine. This is Daisy by Marc Jacobs, Oh So Fresh. And the packaging, let us just talk about it, is gorgeous. But the, oh, that smells so freaking good. The fragrance is very clean, like I said, almost smells like clean laundry, but then it has a little bit of a side note of floral, which if you do like that, definitely go for this. It's so pretty, so light, so feminine, so yes, check that out. Okay, so the next category is fashion, and I usually don't have a ton of fashion favorites, but this month, I don't know what it was, but I was just obsessed with fashion and just like, I bought a lot of clothes, which I'm not too proud of myself for, but a lot of these are actually accessories. So the first one is some earrings, and I don't know if you guys see, but I do have some earrings on. I haven't actually worn earrings in probably a good year. I don't know why, I just stopped wearing earrings and just didn't for a while. And then I got back into competitions in the end of April and May. So I started wearing those earrings for dance competitions and I just wanted to wear other earrings. So I actually purchased two pairs of these types of earrings. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see those, but they're almost like fake spacers, I guess. It's, make, it's to make it look like you do have spacers, but you actually don't. Um, but I purchased a pair in white and a pair in black that I'm wearing now. And I just really like the look of spacers. I just don't want that long-term effect on my ears. So I actually just purchased these and they make me happy. Again, these are from Claire's and they were 10 bucks. So pretty awesome. And then the next fashion favorite is such a basic thing to like, but I actually purchased this three or four months ago and it was honestly the best purchase ever. I started getting into baseball hats, you know, when they started being super trendy and I never had just a plain black one. And then I saw this one. This one is from Aldo, which I don't know if they have Aldo everywhere, but it's a like accessory and shoe store, which speaking of Aldo shoes, I just purchased two pairs. They will probably be in my next month's favorite because I am loving them. But this was actually from Aldo as well. I purchased it, it was like 40% off. And it's just a really nice basic black baseball hat. It's like suede, so it's like not, like casual, it's a little bit more not casual than a regular baseball hat if that makes sense. And I just really like the way it looks and I put it on when I'm just, you know, feeling cool. I don't know, anyways, yeah, that that's a favorite, mm-hmm. <laughs> And then next up are some sunglasses. I just recently purchased these. I think it was like three quarters of the way through May. So I don't know if I should be including these in this one. I've had these for like two weeks now. So maybe it was like halfway through May. Um, but they are Key Australia. I believe that's how you <laughs> pronounce it. They're Key Australia and Desi Perkins kind of collaboration for these sunglasses. These are so freaking gorgeous. These are, I believe they're called high key. Like the style is high key. These are the faded ones, which are so cool. I love these. Hello, Miss Penny. 
Penny's also a favorite. But yeah, these ones are the faded ones. I have not yet decided if they are too big for my face or not, but I really, really like these ones. For some reason, these ones don't look as big as the other ones. I don't know if it's the color or the faded like part of it that makes it look a little bit, makes them look a little bit smaller. But those are probably my favorite out of the two. And then these are the other ones. They're the same high key style. They're just in a different color. And these ones are the black and silver ones, which these ones look a lot bigger on my face for some reason. But they're really, really reflective and super cool. Don't know if you guys can see yourselves in the reflection, but if you can, there you are. <laughs> um, so yeah, really, really like these ones. Um, but I think I do like the faded ones a little bit better. Okay, so next up is another fashion favorite. There are a lot of fashion favorites this month, but this is a bra. And this is actually a bra that was sent to me by this company right here. It's Silly Bee Intimates. And this was sent to me for review a good like year and a half ago, probably. And I never really used it up until a few weeks ago. I started wearing it with shirts that I didn't really want any like straps or bralettes showing and this has been a freaking lifesaver. I love this so much. It's basically one of those sticky bras that stick to your breasts and then you clip it in the center and it just it looks so good with like all shirts and it just makes it so easy. It sticks on for a long period of time. Doesn't make my boobs look bad. It's been a good good thing this month. And then lastly finally for fashion favorites I have been loving jean jackets and just like jean jackets in general I've been just going towards for this like weird transition stage from winter to summer Jenna that's spring I have been loving jean jackets and this one in particular I have been loving this is a jean jacket from forever 21 and it has love me forever on the back and it's just so cute and I've been grabbing that one I also have another one from forever 21 that I've been wearing a lot but this one has been good. And then the last category is random favorites. The first thing is a mug. And if you do not know, I do have quite the collection of coffee mugs. Every single time I go to HomeSense, I have to purchase a mug. And this has been my latest purchase from HomeSense. I did show this in a vlog, but this is the cutest freaking mug. It's the perfect size. I just think it's like, it's big, but it's like not too big. It gives you a good amount of coffee, so you don't have to have like three cups. But this one is like little cactuses and it says can't touch this. I just thought it was so stinking cute. And I don't really know, it's from Clay Art. Not really sure the brand, but I did purchase this from HomeSense and I believe it was like $4.99. So pretty freaking awesome. And I just really like the quote, it's funny. Next favorite is actually a book, which I don't usually read books very often. This one isn't really like a like novel, but it is a dream book. And this is 12,000 Dreams Interpreted. And I am quite the dreamer, I must admit, like when I'm sleeping kind of dreamer. So I have pretty crazy dreams and I really wanted to know like what those things meant. And a lot of my dreams I do remember when I wake up and I do actually have a dream journal, but I haven't been using that recently. I have been using this. And basically if I have a dream, I wake up, I'm like, whoa, that was crazy. Why was this in my dream? I just go in here and I look just, let's say, um, I was overweight in my dream. It says to dream that you are overweight when in waking life you are not passages a health problem, which thankfully I have not dreamed that, but that's pretty crazy and like, it's just weird. So yeah, anyways, I love this book. I purchased it from just a book store in the mall. I think it was called Book Express. It was like 15 bucks. So really been liking that. Okay, and then lastly for favorites, I quickly wanted to throw in my song favorite of the month as well as a new show that I've been watching. But the first is a song that I have been absolutely loving. At first I listened to this song and I was like, eh, not a huge fan, but it's been growing on me. And it's actually the newest Selena Gomez song called Bad Liar. And I'm gonna just play a tiny bit of it just for copyright reasons, I can't. But I just, I, I love it. Oh, 
So yeah, I have been loving that Selena Gomez song. Um, that one is a little bit more well known, but I really wanted to show you guys a song that you probably would not know. And it's actually from a playlist that I have been listening to nonstop for like a good year now on Spotify. And it's called The Most Beautiful Songs in the World. Definitely go check this out because all of these songs are freaking gorgeous. But the song that I've been really liking is called Heal Me by Arctic Lake. And I don't know if anyone's going to know this, but I love it. So I will show you guys a little bit of it. <laughs> So yeah, that song I have been absolutely loving to listen to and just that playlist in general. I've actually been listening to it a lot while I'm walking Penny um, later at night and it's just so calming and so relaxing when you're walking later at night. And yeah, so definitely go listen to that song as well as go check out that playlist on Spotify. Again, I think it's called The Most Beautiful Songs in the World, so go check it out. Okay, and then quickly, I just wanted to mention a TV show that I actually started watching, and it is Riverdale on Netflix. And if you have not seen Riverdale, go start watching it. It is so good, and I just, I've been obsessed. I started watching it like a week ago, so I haven't really like gotten into it too, too much, but I'm going to start watching it more, and I really want to get to the end because it is, it's good, and I really want to know what happens, so... Anyways, that is everything for my May favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a big thumbs up and definitely let me know down below one of your monthly favorites. I would love to know. I love you guys so much. Thank you to all of the new subscribers. I have gained quite a few new subscribers over the last month. So if you are new, thank you so much for subscribing. You are definitely one of my favorites as well. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Before Bye. you came round. My heart would never be much faster Before you came round I was ready to slow down Before you came round